Hi, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Mr. Murphy, and I taught at Faith Heritage for 15 years. So I was asked to share about uh, a Faith Heritage experience that shaped my life. So teaching earth science for um, a number of those years, uh, we talk about storms, um, hurricanes and tornadoes and the wildfires and so forth, and we've certainly had a number of those this year. One of the things I wanted to do in retirement was to uh, help uh, people that have suffered some storm damage. So uh, I just had an opportunity to do that a week before last. Uh, went to Iowa and did some uh, storm cleanup with Samaritan's Purse uh, after they had uh, quite a, a storm, a, a derecho, uh, 110, 120 mile an hour winds that that um, damaged quite a number of homes. So uh, I went there and got to experience uh, that situation and um, was uh, there to encourage some of the people that had suffered through the storm and a lot of the times they ended up encouraging uh, some of us uh, as uh, their, their faith and trust uh, brought them through the storm. You know, God's word doesn't say he's gonna keep us from the storms, but he's gonna help us through them. Uh, Psalm 9 verses 9 through 10 say, The Lord is a refuge for the oppressed, a stronghold in times of trouble. Those who know your name trust in you, for you, Lord, have never forsaken those who seek you. Um, so I hope that's an encouragement to you, uh, as it has been to me. Um, God bless. And as for COVID-19, that of course is a storm of, of a different nature. Uh, I'm up here uh, secluded right now because uh, there's been an exposure at my wife's school and she's teaching remotely in another part of the house right now. But I believe that God would have us to combine uh, the proper application of, of science uh, in doing all these things that we're doing, as well as uh, searching for a vaccine, combine that with a faith and trust in him that uh, we'll get through the storm. And um, there's certainly a number of inconveniences, but in the end, I think we'll be better for it. Hello, I am Juliana Capone, and I'm a part of the Faith Heritage class of 2020. I attended Faith Heritage from kindergarten all the way through 12th grade. And when I look back at my time at the school, I am filled with just fond memories and I am so grateful for the community that gave me the love and support uh, to grow in my faith and my relationships with others. One of my favorite parts about Faith Heritage is how easy the opportunity is for students to jump right in and be involved in that community. I found this personally in the cross country team. For someone who's not very good at running to join a team that had only two other girls on it, whose main purpose is to run, doesn't seem like it would be very much fun. And yet the main goal on the team was to grow together, not just as runners, but as people and as teammates. And we built very unexpected friendships and ultimately a family. And this is kind of what Faith Heritage is like. They give you the opportunity, if you're willing to take it, to have a foundation of faith and love for you to be challenged and to build unexpected, meaningful relationships. And that is even more true during this crazy time of pandemics and changes. School might not look like it used to and trust me i know it's a big adjustment but your teachers mentors and friends at faith heritage are still there and if you look for them the opportunities to build fun honest christ-centered community are more present than ever thank you and god bless you Hey everyone, I'm Zach Beckhusen. I graduated from Faith Heritage in 2017, just a few short years ago. And I wanted to take this time to briefly share with you um, the gospel message and its importance. I know um, there's a wide range of you from sixth grade to, to graduating. And you know, no matter how old or young you are, uh, there is no perfect age to start sharing the gospel with people. 
and uh, you are in the perfect place that is equipping you to share God's word. You know, for those of you who are graduating, you know, when you leave, um, you're going to realize really fast <laughs> there's a lot of people out there who need to know uh, God's love. And for those of you who are in sixth grade, seventh grade, you know, you're very young and you're thinking, oh, I'm not graduating for forever. Well, there's a lot of opportunity for you guys to share his word as well. You know, when you're when you're out with your other friends or you're in other places or just communicating with other people in general, there is always an opportunity out there to share. And uh, I know, uh, you know, sharing uh, the Bible or, or your thoughts on it can be hard, uh, especially for an introvert. It's a scary thing. But, um, you know, a verse comes to my mind I'd like to share with you for, for some encouragement. It's Romans 1, 16, and it, and it says this, For I am not ashamed of the gospel, for it is the power of God for salvation to everyone who believes. And uh, I think that's really important because it's one of the reasons you may be, you know, you might be ashamed, but there's, there's no reason to be ashamed at all because sharing God's word is the greatest gift anyone will ever hear. And it's the greatest thing that will ever happen in anyone's life. And if it's that life-changing, why wouldn't you want to share that with everyone? Um, so it's a truly amazing experience. So I just encourage you to always be looking for opportunities to share God's word, especially in these times of massive division among lots of people, um, just to share God's word and his love for them. Uh, so thank you and have a wonderful day. Good morning, Faith Heritage. My name is Rob Burns, and I'm an FHS alumni, class of 1994. I currently serve as a lead pastor at The Gathering Place at North Syracuse Baptist Church. I attended Faith Heritage for my entire elementary and high school experience, from kindergarten through 12th grade. My family and I had spent the past 25 years living and serving in Philadelphia before moving back to Syracuse just over a month ago. I wanted to share a couple thoughts with you this morning about how my years at Faith Heritage had a profound impact on my life when I was in school, how it helped me lay the groundwork for what God had me heading into in college, and also how it equipped me to begin serving him into a career and then into ministry later. When I was in the school, the environment and relationships that I had at FHS helped shape my worldview and how God had specifically made me to be a part of his story. I remember a lot of my teachers, but distinctly I remember Mrs. Hines, my second grade teacher. By the time I had gotten to second grade, I had a bit of a reputation for being a distraction in the classroom. While doing fine with my schoolwork, I often created distractions for other students. My kindergarten teacher even actually talked to my parents about possibly holding me back a year as they thought I didn't quite have the maturity to be in the classroom yet. Mrs. Hines saw something completely different. And instead, she gave me extra assignments to complete during class. She figured out that I was actually bored during most of my day. And I would become a distraction when I had finished my work or just when I wasn't being challenged. I wasn't in trouble a single day in her class, and her individualized approach changed the way that I actually saw school going forward. That's just one quick example of how being at Faith Heritage and the interaction you can have with staff and faculty there is a real blessing. I'm sure that in a larger school, I would not have had the opportunity to have a teacher figure out how to engage and challenge me individually like Mrs. Hines did. I'll be forever grateful for the impact she had on my life. It helped me realize the things that I needed to know about myself in order to be successful at college, in sports, in business, and even now in full-time ministry. I also wanted to share with you a passage of scripture that's helped me. It might be an encouragement to you as we continue to live in this current COVID-19 affected world. 1 Peter 1, 3, and 4 tells us this, His divine power has granted to us all things that pertain to life and godliness, through the knowledge of Him who called us to His own glory and excellence, by which He has granted to us His precious and very great promises. For me, and maybe for you, the last seven months has felt different than any other time in life. It's made it very difficult to have the kind of relational connection that God has created us for. It's taken away many things that we enjoy doing, like going to the movies or attending sporting events and many other things. Suddenly, we were all somewhat isolated, and at times, these restrictions made it hard to feel that we were going to make it through, or that we even knew how to deal with life in general. These verses in 1 Peter remind us that no matter what we are encountering in life, no matter how difficult it gets, no matter how disheartened or depressed or even just tired we get, we have everything that we need in this life and everything to live for God just by knowing him. He has countless promises that he has given to us, and they are the truths that get us through difficult times. 
I want to encourage each of you to press into knowing him. It's by knowing him and his promises that we have all that we need in this life. Pandemic or not, he promises to get us through. Thanks for listening for a few minutes. I pray that you have a great Heritage Day, that you take a moment to see all of God's blessings to you and around you, first through Christ and also through the opportunity you have to be at FHS. Have a great day.